Hey, it's Sharon. I wanted to do a thank you video about Pinktober month. Do you want to hear more? Well, let's get started. Thank you to each and every one of you who came on and looked at Pinktober Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As you know, this is a cause that's dear to my heart and I appreciate every single one of you coming out, supporting the channel, looking at the videos and voting on the bras. Thank you to everyone that decorated bras. They're on my five minute workouts on Friday for Pinktober. And thank you to everyone that voted on them. We had um, Joanne who did two of them, Joan who did two of them. We also had Cheryl also do two of them. All of them don't have YouTube channels. And then my friend Kristen also did one. I just appreciate their help in supporting this um, challenge. It was a lot of fun and I love seeing all the votes. Each week, the wedding bra was associated with a different breast cancer charity. Please see the description below the video and I've listed all the charities I've donated to. And thank you to everyone else who have donated because it was Pinktober month and Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Thank you to Shai Sarah. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, you mentioned to me that your aunt is a survivor of breast cancer. Thank you for sharing that with me. And also Southern Bells, um, Wanda, you are a warrior and thank you for sharing your story with me too. So maybe you'll remember the reason why I wanted to do a Pinktober month, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, is because 11 years ago I had to have a double prophylactic mastectomy. Prophylactic means that I elected to do the mastectomy. The reason why is I had some precancerous cells going on in my breast for over five years with lots of biopsies and the last mammogram I had revealed that I looked like I had a lot more um, suspicious cells. So I decided to um, go ahead and do a mastectomy to save my life. I don't regret that one bit and I'm glad that I made the choice that was right for me. This coming January, I'm going to be having another surgery to have my implants swept, swapped out. The reason why is that my implants were recalled about two years ago for a type of lymphoma. Some of you may know that I do have a lymphoma. Um, it's a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and it's rare. It is not related to my implants, but because I have cancer, I have a 50% chance of getting another cancer. So the doctors feel in order for me to stay healthy, hopefully, would be a good idea to take out my implants and replace them with something a little safer. That means in January, I won't be able to work out for an entire month. It should be interesting, but I also didn't get to do that when I had my mastectomy. So I'm planning to have my videos done before January. Um, we have the November challenge going on right now, kick sugar to the curb, and I'll have obviously December out. It's a little surprise. But more importantly, you'll be seeing me recover from my um, surgery and starting to get my strength back afterwards. So I will make sure that we are um, documenting it and you'll see me starting to work out again while I am um, recovering from that surgery. Again, I can't thank you enough for supporting my channel, being part of our community of fitness enthusiasts. We do much more on my channel than just workout videos. Um, I really appreciate you supporting Pinktober. I can't thank you enough to everyone that voted, decorated those bras, made donations, did the workouts, and just was here to support and bring breast cancer awareness to the forefront. Thank you again for being a great people out there in the community and always supporting me, making those comments, and subscribing to the channel. From the bottom of my heart, I just thank you for being out there and being part of my life and my journey here on YouTube. So I will see you on our next video.